Also breaking right now, new allegations of election fraud in House District 103, which includes Matthews and Southeast Mecklenburg County. After a recount, Democrat Rachel Hunt beat out Republican Bill Brawley by just 68 votes. However, the group NC Values says a number of people voted by absentee ballot who do not live in the district. NBC Charlotte defender Nathan Morbido live at the breaking news desk. Nathan, these are some serious election fraud allegations thrown around here. That's right. Once again, we are hearing the words absentee ballot irregularities and NC Values Coalition believes a full state investigation is in order, an investigation that could benefit both Republican Bill Brawley, who narrowly lost to Democrat Rachel Hunt for the state House of Representatives and extend the lead of Mark Harris in District 9. Just moments ago, the executive director of the pro family organization said the groups found five people who voted by absentee ballot in the House District race, but don't actually live at the address listed. One of them now lives in New York City years after moving away from North Carolina in 2012. In addition, the group's questioning at least 300 voters who they say improperly marked and signed off on their ballots. They've turned over their evidence now over to the state house speaker, and they say they have the signed affidavits to prove all of this, calling out the state board of election for giving wrong instructions to county boards and arguing the state mishandled multiple elections. Proper application of the law in this election could have resulted in Bill Brawley's winning the election instead of Rachel Hunt and almost certainly would have increased Mark Harris's lead in North Carolina 9th District. Now, the groups since asked the Speaker of the State House to refuse to seat Rachel Hunt, the daughter of former Governor Jim Hunt, until an investigation is completed. We reached out to her a short time ago. We've yet to hear back. All right, another race we will be closely following. Thank you, Nathan, for the update.